every year the shara actually reminds us that it's actually about killing the evil you know and uh, one being the killing energy you are cuz uh, if someone mess with your wife you got to be the killing energy you can't just go like koi baat nahi jaise bhagwan ki marzi and in today's in today's reality like when you have your relationship with your own self your love for yourself is yeah that intimate relationship and it is time for us to learn that we cannot take anybody just take it for granted and we cannot take anybody let anybody just snatch that self love from ourselves we got to you know create our, our own vanar sena of all the angels that we have and earn and get our self love back our intimacy with our own self back our own self respect back and uh, because that's what it is now the most of the fights are internal you know and we are energetically connected with every being you know especially every person on the planet it's it's like you know god's creation of multiple of us in the in the image of itself all playing different roles just to add the fun in the game and when we solve the fight internally we also see the fights externally getting dissolved you now so it's actually about killing the raven inside of ourselves which is the judgments that we have you know so we it's like a constant check to to kill the judgment that the moment they show up you know so every time your own thoughts try to snatch away your peace of mind your own thoughts try to snatch away your love and respect for yourself your self confidence you got to stop and take the action to just recreate that love yeah so let's get get started and see what is it that the angels have for us everybody let's just close your eyes and with your eyes comfortably closed just bring your awareness to your breathing observing every breath going deeper and deeper and today as you focus on your breath just take your awareness to your root chakra connecting it with mother earth and what if the story of ramayana is beyond the physical personification of people what if it is the story of our own kundalini energy the energy that takes birth from the womb of the earth it's born without the man and the female coming together it's just born in the earth getting activated and ignited at your root chakra owning its own creativity flowing to the sacral
and nurtured. by the power and power is usually associated with a man in this reality so father that would acknowledge the little girl into the womb of the earth take her out and nurture her and care for her and provide her everything the knowledge the wisdom the care to grow up as a powerful woman and as she grew up she meets the heart energy What if Rama is all about the higher chakras, the heart, the throat, the third eye? And as they come together, it just activates. the self-expression, the love, the caring, the going beyond self and contributing to the world in such a way that you are even willing to let go of all the materialistic things. And yet, the Rama, which is about the thoughts. And when this root energy, which starts from the basic survival, is taken over by the thoughts, by the thoughts of fear and insecurities, the connection with the heart is broken. So when you buy the thoughts, when you allow the thoughts to take over you, when you get carried away with the thoughts, You are no more operating from the eternal love, the wisdom, the self-expression and awareness. All of that is blocked. And then you stop being powerful. And eventually, as consciousness supports you, it never gives up on you. The eternal love energy does not give up on you. And you're reminded of who you really are. You're reminded of the love. And in the battle of the love and the thoughts. When the love takes over, you achieve the oneness again.
and in the process sometimes the eternal love and the earth energy may require some healing so they choose to have their own space and that is equally required at times nothing right or wrong about it the eternal love chooses to be by itself into the meditation into the self analysis into the connection with the source and the earth energy chooses the wisdom the learning an environment to grow and evolve and multiply as she has the capacity to multiply so that the legacy continues the love energy is spread and the wisdom is continued and yet when their time comes they choose to evolve and just disappear in their own elements the earth energy moves into the earth and the love that is the element of water in this earth just dissolve into the water and in their own way they achieve oneness with their own self what if it was never about people and thus why bother judging the right and wrong so today let's just focus on our own earth energy evolving into the water energy coming all the way from the earth connecting with the mother earth thanking the earth for all the nurturing the caring energies receiving the nurturing the caring from the earth coming all the way through the feet through all the cells of the body the legs the knees the thighs the genitals activating the root chakra igniting the creative capacities contributing to everything you are here to contribute on the planet earth contributing the wisdom the awareness the resources yes as the sacral chakra activates let all of those belief systems dissolve 
and release which stops you from actualizing everything that can be created through you you have the mother earth with you you have every resource that you will require it will show up as you ask and as you do not let the mind take over and then there are so many beings contributing to you so what if you just have to listen to the whispers of the awareness of what it is that is to be created through you and then ask for whatever you require and then don't go into the mind of easy and difficult and should and should not and possible and not possible just let the universe contribute just let the angels contribute and the more you will begin acknowledging that receiving that the more power you will experience as your solar axis solar plexus activates let that power be used for love for spreading the eternal love the unconditional love where you are so full of love that you cannot contain it to yourself at all it has to overflow filling you up with love so much love that you love yourself you're so full of yourself people may say oh you're so full of yourself and you just smile as you know that yes you are and you're so full of yourself that it flows to other people by default as you are full and filled by the earth energy by the angels and guides and by the universe all activating your heart chakra activating your true voice your true self expression into the world creating a vision of a new reality and as this vision gets clearer and clearer activating your third eye moving all the way up to the crown and out of the crown to the universe the vision meets the universe the creator the creative capacities and it get actualized into the world and thus you create many realities many many universes many possibilities infinite as that is who you are infinite and with every reality the game begins once again as the fountain that comes out of your crown chakra 
flows all around your body creating a huge ball of energy around your body flowing all the way back to your root chakra creating a flow of energy constantly flowing in and out of your body actually in all the directions and as this begin flowing it just start dissolving all the blockages the mind begins to lose the grip the density of physicality begins to lose the grip and you become the light you become the lightness of the nothingness and you become the light of the universe shining bright becoming one with the universe itself and that is your true dashera happy dashera to all thank you the angels the guides the beings contributing thanking the mother earth thanking the universe thanking the collective consciousness Take a long deep breath in and let go. Bringing your awareness to your physical body. Here's being present with your physical body. You can move your hands and your feet a little bit. you can rub your palms put them on your eyes and slowly and gradually as you feel comfortable you can open your eyes <laughs>